Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. There's rich history to be discovered in Brunswick Town, near Wilmington. Once a thriving seaport and home to royal governors from England, it was abandoned after the Revolutionary War. Then, a hundred years later, it became a Confederate fort. Derek Long recently visited this state historic site and brings us more of the story of Brunswick Town. We're located on the Cape Fear River and you can come out, bring your baby strollers, bring your dogs on the leash. It's just a beautiful sight to come out and walk around. That place is Brunswick Town and Fort Anderson State Historic Site. And that was what Maurice Moore, son of the Royal Governor of South Carolina, thought when he passed this area on his return from fighting the Tuscarora Indians in the early 1700s. He also thought this would make a great port. The town was started officially 1726. The land was laid out in lots and Colonel Maurice Moore set out to have his town developed. If you bought a lot, you had to build on that lot within so many months because this was a development. At the height of the town, 250 people lived here, which was a medium-sized town in the 18th century. You would have seen a lot of wooden ships bringing in supplies, and of course they were exporting naval stores. These ships were coming from all over, and they were bringing sailors from all over the world right here to this port. It was a very active port. You would have seen barrels of tar and pitch lining the wharf area waiting to be exported out on these vessels. Brunswick Town was a thriving port town until it was burned by the British during the Revolution. A few people remain, but the town never recovered, and by the early 1800s... The whole town, the whole property was deserted, and the owners of Orton Plantation bought this property for $4.25 in 1842. And that might have been where the story ends for this historic site. But with the outbreak of the Civil War, this site became part of the Confederates' Cape Fear River defenses. Fort Anderson was laid out right on top of the deserted town. We have a 13-minute DVD that talks about the history here at the site. Um, that's really the place to begin the tour, uh, is inside the visitor center with that and the exhibits. Here you'll learn about the Native American history of the area, about the early Spanish explorers. You'll also learn about the life of the people of Brunswick Town through artifacts and written displays. These were not struggling citizens and homeowners. Uh, these were merchants, and middle class, upper middle class colonists, a lot of these uh, citizens had homes in Wilmington, New Bern, they traveled, they were very political. Indeed, what may have been the first armed resistance to British rule in America happened here over the Stamp Act of 1765. Other exhibits in the visitor center tell the story of Fort Anderson. The original garrison flag is here on display, as well as other artifacts from the fort. Once you've learned the history of this site, the thing to do is get out and walk the grounds. The new ADA walkway makes access easy. The trail is about three-fourths of a mile, and there are benches along the trail. The site is an archaeological site, so there's been no reconstructions of any of the homes or buildings that were in the town. And so what you'll see are the foundations of the homes and buildings of the once thriving port town. The most intact building remaining here is St. Philip's Church. St. Philip's, it's an Anglican church, and today it stands as a magnificent example, a huge church for the 18th century. You will also see the remains of Fort Anderson. And today that stands as the most pristine earthworks in the nation, uh, example of what an earthen fort looked like. As you're walking around, you'll see two periods of history side by side when you come out to this site. This is Derek Long for North Carolina Weekend. Brunswick Town is in Winnebo, southeast of Wilmington, and they're open Monday through Saturday from 9 to 5 p.m. For more information, give them a call 
at 910-371-6613 or go online to nchistoricsites.org. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.